Hello, my name is Brennan Sheehan. I'm the administrative and presiding judge here in Cuyahoga County Common Police Court. You're here today for your arraignment. I'm going to now advise you of your constitutional rights that apply to this arraignment. It is my duty to make sure all of you are advised of all of your constitutional rights. These instructions are important so please listen carefully. Under the constitutions of the United States and the state of Ohio, all persons charged with the commission of offense are guaranteed certain basic rights. These rights are as follows. You have the right to know and understand the charges against you. You have the right to a speedy trial. You have the right to a trial by jury. You may waive those rights and give them up and have your case tried to a judge without a jury. At trial, the state of Ohio has the burden to prove you guilty by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. You have the right to meet your accuser face to face and to cross-examine witnesses for the prosecution. You have the right to summon or subpoena witnesses on your behalf. You do not have to testify against yourself. You have the right to counsel. If you're unable to afford an attorney, the court will appoint a lawyer to defend you. You will be assessed a $25 fee for an appointed attorney. You will not be denied an attorney if you're unable to pay this fee. At the end of your case, you may be ordered to pay the fee if your judge determines you are financially able. If you choose to hire your own attorney, you have the right to a reasonable continuance to hire one. Now, today, you're not here for the trial of your case. You're here for a procedure known as your arraignment. An arraignment is an opportunity to be informed of the charges against you, your bond to be set, and for you to enter your plea. You do not have to make any statement about charges against you, but any statement made may be used against you. The prosecutor is seated in this room and they could and will be writing down things you say. As your name is called, please step forward and you'll be asked if you received a copy of your indictment or information and whether or not you understand the charges against you. By law, you have 24 hours before you must respond to the indictment or information. If it has been less than 24 hours since you received a copy of your indictment or information, but you wish to be arraigned anyways, you may waive that 24 hour notice and we will complete your arraignment this morning. If your case is going to be going forward by way of information, I will ask your attorney to place on the record that they discussed with you waiving the presentment of your case to a grand jury. You will be asked if you understand the charges against you, if you knowingly and willingly sign that waiver, if you consent for the charges to proceed by information instead of indictment, and if you wish to continue to be arraigned by waiving the 24 hour notice and reading of this information. You will be asked how you plead. A defendant may plead not guilty, not guilty by reason of insanity, guilty, or with consent of the court, no contest. If you want to plead guilty and you do not have a lawyer, the court will assign counsel for you so you may have a full understanding of all your constitutional rights. Your case will be assigned to a judge whether you plead guilty or not guilty. If you refuse to plead, the court will enter 
a not guilty plea on your behalf. If you've been charged with a crime of violence and or any drug offense, under Ohio law, you cannot knowingly have, carry, or use a firearm or dangerous ordinance or dangerous weapon until your case is concluded. This is called being under a disability. If you violate this disability, you could be charged with a separate felony offense, in addition to the original charges you are being arraigned for today. Even if you have a carry concealed weapon permit, you are still under a disability until your case is over. In fact, upon indictment, the sheriff who issued the permit shall suspend it until your case is over. Finally, if you are over 18 years old and you have not provided a DNA specimen since 2011, you may be required to submit one within 24 hours of your arraignment. Thank you, Judge Sheehan. When your name is called, you will be escorted to the arraignment room. At that time, you'll be asked if you understand the constitutional rights that Judge Sheehan just explained. You will be asked if you have an attorney or if you need to have one appointed for you. You will be asked again if you have had 24 hours to review the charges or indictment. At that time, you will enter your plea and your case will be randomly assigned to one of our 34 judges.